Welcome back to the lab. In this segment, we're going to discuss pipettes. Pipettes are used in the lab for the transfer and measurement of liquids in solution. Okay, so before I get started, I'm going to put on my safety glasses and we can look at some of the different pipettes we use. First, we have a transfer pipette, which is not necessarily very accurate, but good for transferring solutions from one container to another. We also have a seriological or graduated pipette, which has markings in milliliter increments. We have a volumetric pipette, which is very accurate, and a micro pipette. A micro pipette is good for very small volumes, and you may use that in lab from time to time. Let's begin with the transfer pipette. Now, a transfer pipette is typically thought to be disposable, and it's just for inaccurate measurements to get a solution from one place to another. For example, in this case, we're going to fill a cuvette. Now I'm going to take my transfer pipette, and if we look at it, we can see that the cuvette has some markings on it, one milliliter and two milliliters, and there are other pipettes that have uh, three milliliters or more. Uh, but in this case, it's just for the transfer. So I'm going to withdraw some solution by pressing the bulb, and some solution will pull up through the pipette. And then I can fill my cuvette and put it in my spec 20, which you may have seen in our spec 20 segment. So now I have my cuvette filled, and I'm ready to go. And that's the main purpose for a transfer pipette, but you may use it for some other purposes in lab as well. Now if we look at a graduated pipette or seriological pipette, it's a little more accurate. And it's also a little different to use. So first, you can notice on the pipette we have some numbers here. And they number a little bit differently than you might expect. They start at zero at the top, and then go all the way down in milliliter increments down to 10 milliliters, okay? And this is used to measure dispensing, not withdrawing. And the difference will become clear in a moment. To withdraw the solution, we use a pipette pump, okay? And the pipette pump has a few different parts on it. It has the hole where you put the pipette. It has a wheel, which you use to withdraw the solution. And then it has a lever on the side for draining. And this uses gravity to drain the solution. You never, ever want to drain the solution using the top pump here, okay? Just use the gravity, and we'll explain that in a second. So the first thing we do is put the pump onto the pipette and push it on there, okay? Now I can put my tip of my pipette into the solution, and as I turn the wheel, you'll start to see that solution begins to pull up through the pipette. And I want to go to where I have the zero point, okay? And in this case, I've gone a little bit past zero, and that's where I want to use my little lever to release a small amount of liquid. So I'm going to just gently press that lever and let a small amount of solution come out until I've reached the zero. Now, if I want to dispense, say, seven milliliters, I'm going to hold down the lever until the solution reaches the seven milliliter mark. So I'm going to transfer to this beaker, and as I push down on the lever, you'll see that the solution begins to drain. And all you need to do is push lightly because it moves very quickly. So I've gone down to four milliliters, five milliliters, six milliliters, and as I get close, you just want to slowly tap it in there, and we've put in our seven milliliters of solution. So that's a seriological graduated pipette, very good for this type of measurement. Okay, I'm going to drain the rest out in this case. Now the next type of pipette is even more accurate, and it's a volumetric pipette. Okay. And the volumetric pipette is used just like a volumetric flask. It's very accurate and specifically calibrated. In this case, this volumetric pipette is calibrated to five milliliters, and that calibration mark is noted by this little brown line here and it's exact and precise to that point. So this is for exact measurements, not like the serological pipette where you can do a specific volume. This is made for just five milliliters. And to use this pipette, you can use the pipette pump or you can use a pipette bulb, which is what I'm gonna use in this case, okay? So pipette bulb looks much like uh, a turkey baster bulb and just has a hole in the top uh, to put the pipette in. So I'm just gonna rest that on the top and then go over to my solution, and I'm gonna press down on my pipette bulb, and then withdraw a solution, okay? And as I begin to withdraw a solution, I'll see that 
I get near or slightly above right there. And then if you take off the bulb quickly, you can put your finger on the top of it, slowly let some solution drain out, and now I have exactly five milliliters in there. Now as I pull the pipette out and put it into the beaker, my solution is draining slowly and draining by gravity. And what you'll notice is as we get to the end, there'll be a small amount of solution left in the tip of the pipette. And this small amount right here is meant to be there. That pipette is calibrated to have exactly that amount in there left behind, and it's still exactly five milliliters that we transfer. So it is very accurate, despite that little bit of solution there. You didn't want to blow that out, okay? Now the last piece of equipment we're going to use is the micro pipette. Now the micro pipette you may have seen before in our segment on volumes, or you may have seen on TV and uh, in other areas, and it's used for very accurate measurement of solutions, okay? And it's got a few parts to it. First is the plunger, and that plunger uh, is used for withdrawing and dispensing solutions, okay? We have a release for releasing the tip that we'll talk about in a second. We have the numbers or the display, in this case 500, and this is in microliters, so we can use 500 microliters for this uh, pipette. And then we have the tip, and the tip we actually uh, put on disposable tips to keep everything clean uh, and, and sterile. And to change these numbers, all we have to do is rotate the top knob, and you can see that we can rotate up to 520, 515, 510, or 500 microliters. In this case, we want 500, okay? So we're going to take a disposable tip. You'll find them in boxes such as these. And all that we have to do is push down onto the tip and withdraw, and now we have a brand new clean tip for withdrawing our solution. I'm going to press down on the lever, and what you'll notice is there's going to be one stop, and you want to go to that first stop and just push down lightly. And then put your tip into the solution. And as you withdraw that, put it in solution, you withdraw the knob slowly. And you'll see that we've picked up exactly 500 microliters of solution. And now you can move this over to the beaker that you want to transfer to. And I'm going to push back down on that plunger. And as I push down slowly, it begins to withdraw. And sometimes you'll notice that at the end of the tip, there's a small little droplet, as we have here. Well, on this type of pipette, we do want to make sure that last little drop comes through. So I'm going to push it down a little bit more. And you'll notice a second stop. And as I push it down, it goes down a little bit further. And that droplet has now disappeared. It's put, gone into the beaker. Okay. When we're done with the micro pipette, we need to get rid of the tip. And that's using this little dispensing lever, as I discussed. And all you need to do is use your thumb to push down into your waste beaker. And it gets ejected from the tip, and you don't need to touch it at all. So in summary, there's a few different pipettes you're going to use in lab. One of them is the transfer pipette. We also have the graduated or seriological pipette. We have the volumetric pipette, very accurate with, a, with one single marking. And we have the micro pipette. Depending on which application uh, you'll be using, you'll need the different types of pipettes, all of which you'll see in lab. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.